Shauna, Jess, and I are here again because I know what's going to happen. You're going to be emailing her and asking her tons of questions about how do I post citizenship marks on my uh, report card. So go ahead, Miss Jess. Okay, so um, there are two different ways to post citizenship uh, marks in Infinite Campus. And I'm going to show you the what I think is the easiest way, and then I'll show you um, a second way to do it. Um, so normally when you're in your gradebook, this is what the screen you have. You want to make sure, um, by the way, now you want to make sure you have T selected. Now there's also a summer school one, so you want to make sure you have T selected, not SS, because SS is summer school. You're going to want to select your section, make sure you're on HQ4, and then make sure your task is citizenship. Okay. So from there, the easiest way to do it is actually on the post grades tab right here. Now you can do it from here. You can go to posted, select the grade box, you'll get a drop down, and then there's the district standard citizenship mark. So you can do it from there. Okay, so that's one way. The problem with doing it that way is you have to go in and do each student individually, which you can certainly do, but it's time consuming. You can then add comments as well, and you can type comments as well as using the canned comments that the district has pre-selected. But the fast way to do it is to actually go into this post grades tab. So I'm going to OK that. And from here, again, make sure you're in the right section, right term, and task citizenship. And you can go ahead and fill them all in at once. And so this is the nice thing especially because most of your kids are probably going to have S citizenship grade, satisfactory. So you can go in, you select it, you say you want to fill either all students or just empty students, and you go ahead and do fill, and now they're all in there for you at once. You can then, if there's a couple you need to add, you can change, you can go in and just change the ones that are different, right. um, and then add any comments you want to add from there. This is the quick way, then you just hit save, and when you go back to your gradebook, they are now all in there. And then you can also do comments, add your comments from here as well. Or you can edit from here as well. Right. Okay, so you can either way. But the quick way is to use that post grades tab. It'll save you the trouble of having to select each student individually. Okay, now that's posting citizenship. Now when you come to your actual grades, isn't it true you're posting your grades, then you come and post citizenship second um you know i because i posted my grades well no because i can post i posted citizenship for all classes today right, right. but yet i haven't posted grades for right. my classes for tomorrow that i have tomorrow so so i can go in and this one's going to have their grades already posted but for example if i go to my sixth period they don't have grades posted yet for semester, right? But I have already posted their citizenship grades, so you don't have to. So you can do them in any order. Correct. You don't have to do them, you know, letter grade first and then citizenship grade second. You can actually post them in either order. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, but it is a two process. It is a two-step process. Under, under Zangle, we had the post the grades, and then I think he went in and did yeah, citizenship it was second. Yeah, it was on one screen, one but, screen, but two different columns. Right. Yeah, they were just two different columns. So this, you actually have to do two different separate tasks. All right. Again, so. um, here's the email address for any of the, our, our uh, tech people on Infinite Campus. I'm putting it up on the screen right now. You can email that, and somebody will get back to you individually. And, um, and or, you know, just uh, start collaborating a yeah. little bit and you'll help out each other. You know, there's one more thing that some people were, um, there has been a question about grades and about Infinite Campus not calculating grades. And this is the one thing that I um, wanted to show you. For students who have missing assignments, right? if you just leave it blank, that assignment doesn't get counted as missing. Um, because until you either enter a score, let me show you here, until you either enter a score or designate one of these special scores, if it were just blank and there was nothing there, right. then it won't calculate it as part of the student score. So if you had a student, for example, that was missing a lot of assignments, but you didn't go in and either put an M or flag it as missing or put a zero, 
then it's going to show that they have a really good grade because that assignment won't count against them. So that's the one other thing people have been having difficulty with is having gone, gone in and flagged that stuff as missing. Um, and again, the really easy way to do it is once you've entered the scores, you go to fill scores and then you can fill in the empty scores and just fill them as an N as an M. And that will automatically quickly flag all the empty ones as missing. Okay. And so it'll do that. I'm going to hit cancel. But it. that can't, that counts against their total score. That's because, right. And it should right. because they didn't turn in an assignment. Right. It should. But, if you wanted to excuse a kid from an assignment, say, hey, they were in the hospital or whatever, then you exempt. Then you okay, would do an X exempt. exempt. That's what I was going to ask right. because what I've been doing is leaving it blank because they were sick. Well, and again, for me, sick doesn't mean you don't have to do the assignment. It means you have extra time to make it up. But it all depends on... Like, I, we have some kids who checked out, and so we were supposed to freeze their score. Right. So for them, for the assignments that were after their checkout date, I've put exempt. Okay, gotcha. But just students who are absent, you weren't here to do the work. That's, you, you know, one way to get out of work isn't to not be here. I mean, right. So, so you want to go in and flag it as missing. Right. Um, I use M because I want to save zero for kids who tried it but got a zero. Mm -hmm. um, and so I use M for those missing assignments, and that way it counts against the student. Um, you hate to have a student who did five assignments out of ten, and on those five got an A, but didn't do any else and get an A in class because they didn't do, you know, but right. not doing half the assignments. So, um, you know, so, but that's one of the things I know people have been having difficulty with is it's had some kids have much higher grades than they should have, and that's because missing assignments were just left blank as opposed to making sure they were flagged as missing. Okay. And that's if you flag it as missing, it'll score it, as you can see on there, it'll score it as a zero. Right. So. Okay, that's excellent. Again, um, Shauna or any of our helpers uh, are available. Uh, here's the email address again one more time, and uh, we'll try the best we can to get around and help you individually. Okay, thank you very much.